Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to add doodly videos to your PowerPoint presentations. Hey, and welcome to the official doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. You'll see here that I have a very simple presentation started and I've got some doodly characters in it. And I do also have a video and I'm going to show you how you can add those to your own presentations. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek at what I have so far. So I have my title screen, adding doodly videos to PowerPoint presentations. It's easier than you think. Now, when I go to the next screen, you'll see that I have a video and I have it set to automatically begin playing. Now you can change that. And I probably do want to change that. And right now the video is just saying, you know, why is it a good idea? Well, it keeps your presentation engaging. It sets it apart from others. I believe it said it was fun. <laughs> and it's easy to do, so why not? And then we go to our next screen and it's got the instructions. So what are the instructions? We first want to create the presentation and figure out where the doodly videos are gonna go. And as we build it, we want to put some placeholders for where we're going to put the video, like this. So you'll see I have a little placeholder here that says doodly video goes here. And then I've got another placeholder for creating the doodly video. Apparently I'm going to put another video in that section right there. And then I've got this scene that says add your doodly video. So you're going to replace your placeholders with the videos by deleting the text and then clicking the film strip icon as shown below. So we'll go ahead and do all of this. So here's my first placeholder. Now you don't have to actually type the text in your placeholders. I just find it's helpful to do, especially if you're going to come back, you know, a couple days from now, or if you're working with a collaborator, it's just helpful to do. So it's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and delete my placeholder text. And then I've got my um, little prompt here from PowerPoint saying, hey, what do you want to insert? Well, I want to insert a video. So I'm going to click the film strip. And then it's going to prompt me to go find it. So I'm just going to use the same video that I added a few minutes ago. And right there, there it is. Now I do like these little um, AI design ideas. So if you want to play with those, you can. I, I like it a lot. And you can find those, let's see, I think if you go back to home, right here under design ideas, it'll turn them on. You just pick one that you like. Then once you have your video in, you can go ahead and preview it, go to slideshow, and play from current slide, and you'll see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the play button because I did not set this to automatically play. And then it turns on. So let's go back. And then if you select the video and go to video format, you can change the frame here if you'd like. Give it different looks. Or you can choose video effects and do the same sort of thing. Likewise, you can add a colored border if you'd like. All sorts of different looks for the video. Now, if you want to change it so that it plays automatically or doesn't play automatically as the case may be, what you want to do is go to the playback tab. Start by default is in click sequence. You can change it to automatically, which is what I had on that original one that we looked at earlier or when clicked on. The choice is up to you. And really, that's the basics of adding a video to your PowerPoint. Now, what about these little characters that I have here? They add a lot to it, and it's kind of fun to do. So what if you want to add a character? Let's add one back to this screen. What you need to do is go into Doodly. And this is how I got this character, is I just created a very simple scene with him and I took a screenshot. That's all you do. So use your favorite screenshot technique to take a screenshot and then copy and paste it into PowerPoint. And that's the basics of working with Doodly in PowerPoint.
Thanks for watching. Bye.